Latest AP poll has Northwestern 13th after the Wildcats won their 10th game yesterday against Illinois. They've won 10 games two other times in modern times, 2012 and 1995 when they went to the Rose Bowl. Evan Fitzgerald looks back at that 95 squad that went to college football's granddaddy of them all. It was one of the most improbable seasons in sports history. What happens in this dramatic story of the Northwestern Wildcats? Coach Gary Barnett's dramatic turnaround. One of the biggest stories of this decade in college football. Two decades have passed since Barnett took the purple to Pasadena, although those who lived it sometimes feel as if the celebration just ended. My body does, yeah, at times uh, it, it does, but a lot of things seem like yesterday. Of course, it all began in South Bend, a game only the Wildcats believed they could win. I think we had a confidence about us. We knew we had hung in there, you know, in prior games against them the years before. Um, we felt confident about going in there that day as being, I don't know, 28-point underdogs. I don't remember a lot of Coach Barnett's speeches, but one of those that sticks out to me was when he told us, you know, in the hotel before we went, don't carry me off the field. They were on a mission. They really were. And, um, you know, all we had to do was sort of steer them in the right direction. And there's been a long time since they've seen a celebration like this in Evanston. I can still imagine when, you know, taking a knee at the end, running down the field, and uh, it was it was mayhem. Wait, we are as good as we thought we were, and we've proven it, and we beat the Notre Dame. A week later, a crushing loss to Randy Walker in Miami of Ohio, but one that galvanized the team that now famously expected to win, thanks to some inspiration during a preseason jog. We were just talking about it. We needed a slogan. And by the time we finished that run, between the two of us, we'd come up with expect victory. The slogan expect victory was, it was a game changer for us. It wasn't just about winning and losing, right? It was, it was bigger than that. It was more of an attitude. It was an attitude. It was a way that we approached everything. Uh, you know, we expect to win. And they did, rattling off nine straight, winning in the big house, besting Penn State at home, and becoming a national phenomenon in the process. For the first time in more than five decades, Northwestern was the champion of the Big Ten. I want to ask you guys if you want to go to Pasadena. Yeah! Everything about the day is just absolutely glorious, and we're ready to play football for the 82nd time. I don't think we knew it was going to be that big. I don't think anybody in that, in, no one in our building had ever been to a Rose Bowl. It was an amazing day, you know, walking out and seeing the crowd the way it was, probably 70% purple. The Cats scratched and clawed, but the Trojans just too much that day, a fact that over time has taken nothing away from these players and the pride in what they accomplished. I'm not sure what would have changed other than <laughs> we would have won the game. It's still, in my lifetime, the most significant event that occurred was taking that team to the Rose Bowl. 20 years later and the players are still closer than ever. Nearly 80 of them came back for homecoming this year and Barnett was welcomed back into the fold, inducted into the Wildcats Hall of Fame. As long as he was at the front of the bus, we had a chance of winning every game. and so. You know, it's great for me, and I love to see him back a part of it. I think all of us as players, uh, that's our coach. And how about this for a bookend? 20 years later, the 2015 Northwestern Wildcats with a bowl victory would win their 11th game, the most in school history. I'm Evan Fitzgerald, Fox 32 Sports. What a great job by Evan. Let's take a look at our Menards Northwestern Notebook. Want proof that Northwestern's finally a football school? Check out these numbers. From 1974 to 1994, Cats were 40, 187 and four. That's a 181 winning percentage. No winning seasons, zero, and no bowl games. The modern Cats have 134 wins, a 523 winning percentage, nine winning seasons, 11 bowl games, including this year's Game, 31st team all Big Ten players compared to 16. Only number that's strange is NFL draft picks. The difference, just three. Uh, you have to hand it to Gary Barnett, the late Randy Walker, Pat Fitzgerald. They have really changed the football culture in Evanston, haven't they? Absolutely. And your point about the NFL draft, I mean, the NFL looks at players and their upside. Well, guess what? Those coaches got the maximum out of these players from the time they hit the uh, the, the turf their, their freshman year until their senior year. They played great football, and you, you, you can't you know you can't knock the fact that hey, guess what? They're having to recruit against Ohio State, Michigan State, Michigan year after year, and yet they are competing and winning.